Hey, it's Christina from Studio SE. I'm going to show you an example of using some of the built-in operations in Cameo Systems Modeler to create the script to compute a derived property. Let's go. The goal that we have is to create a derived property that auto-populates its value based on the values of other properties. So what you see in this table here are some of the attributes of an element that I've called component. We have things like the manufacturing risk, the safety risk, and the usability risk. Well, what I want to do is create a derived property, so some sort of derived risk, that looks at the levels that are assigned to manufacturing safety and usability and pulls the highest value from it so I can assess the overall risk that's associated with the system. So if I add a new block or a new component here, I can call this component A, I can assign maybe the manufacturing risk is low, the safety risk is medium, and the usability risk is low. Well, what I want to do is see what's the highest one. I have two lows and a medium. Medium is the highest, and I want to pull that over um, and list that as the value for another attribute. So what I have generated is an enumeration where I have various risk levels, low, medium, and high. And I created a stereotype named component. The component has three attributes, safety risk, manufacturing risk, and usability risk, which are all typed by that enumeration. So any of these can um, have a drop-down list associated with it, and I can choose low, medium, and high for that. Well, then in the customization for the component, I can create this derived property specification. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky to do. What I have done is used a series of if-then-else statements um, and some other built-in operations to help me find what the enumeration literal is that's assigned to each one of the manufacturing usability and safety risk. So this first if then else statement, um, the condition is actually this new built-in operation called contains. And what I'm actually looking for is I'm looking for in this collection of values, so I can use the first operation to search for my safety risk, I can search for my manufacturing risk, and I can search for my usability risk. And what I'm looking for in this collection is the enumeration literal high. So if this is true, if this collection um, has high in it, then I can assign the derived property, um, the enumeration literal of high. If it doesn't have high in this list, well, my else condition, I go into a new if then else operation, where again, I'm looking through this collection of inputs, the collection of um, attributes for my component, stereotype, and I'm looking for the object medium. If I do find a medium, then I can assign the derived property, the enumeration literal of medium, else it's going to assign it as low. So then, if I look at this table, I can add my derived risk column, and it's done just what I wanted. It's looked at the manufacturing, safety, and usability. It's found medium, and it assigned it to the derived risk. I can add a new component, so maybe component B. Again, I can choose low, medium. It's changed it to medium since that's the next highest one, and then high. So I can keep doing this for a bunch of different components, and this will auto-populate in my derived risk column. So this is just a little example of how you can use some of the built-in operations that Cameo has available to you to do things like calculate derived properties. Thanks for listening in.